It's pumpkin time, so today we're gonna be making a pumpkin latte. Now mine is only gonna have maybe 14 grams of sugar in it compared to what a local coffee shop that you might know of uh, has in theirs. I'll tell you a little bit later what that is. It's a lot, I'll tell you that. And I'm using the best ingredients possible. I mean, I go out and I buy organic milk and you know, all the good stuff. And it's really delicious. You're gonna feel good about it. There's no chemicals in it. It's just clean, good food. In fact, it is so delicious that I would say you could leave the coffee out and serve this to your kids and they can have their own little pumpkin latte. All right, so I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, here's our chef joke number one. What is a barista's favorite exercise at the gym? The French press, of course. I want to start off here by talking about our ingredients because we're making this healthy and using healthy ingredients. So first up, make yourself some coffee. I'm using Pete's coffee here, but you can use whatever you want and prepare it any way you want. I'm gonna be using the French press. For a pumpkin flavor, I'm using organic pumpkin here. And if you look at the ingredients, you're gonna see it's just pumpkin. To give our latte tons of flavor, we're gonna use some Ceylon cinnamon, some nutmeg, cloves, and ginger. And we'll use some vanilla extract to bring out some natural sweetness. So how much sugar is in a pumpkin latte when you go out to the coffee shop and pick one up? Well, Starbucks is listed at 50 grams of sugar. We're not doing that here today. We're gonna to cut this back to about 14. And we're gonna do that by using coconut sugar. Now, if you read the ingredients on the package, you'll notice that one tablespoon of coconut sugar is about seven grams of sugar. So at most, you're gonna use two tablespoons of that per serving. And our last ingredient is some whole organic milk. Now to make a latte, you need to have a way to froth your milk. So your options are using a French press or a little mixer like I have here. Uh, that works really well too, or you can get yourself a frother. Now I happen to like the frother method the best because it's just so easy and it works so well. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to uh, get yourself one of these. All right, let's make a pumpkin latte. I'm gonna pour seven ounces of water into a small saucepan. Place the water on the stove over medium low heat and we're gonna watch the temperature closely because we don't want it to exceed 190 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want your water to boil, it just makes your coffee more bitter. So to this pan I'm gonna add about two thirds of a cup of whole milk and we're gonna put it over medium low heat. Now this is the milk we're gonna froth so keep your temperature between 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want it to boil. In another saucepan, I'm adding about a third of a cup of that whole organic milk. And to that, I'm gonna measure out three tablespoons of our pumpkin puree. And then we'll add that to the milk. We'll also add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, and last but not least, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground ginger. Whisk that over a medium low heat. Don't let it boil and don't let it burn. After this mixture gets nice and hot, go ahead and add the vanilla extract. Once the water for the coffee gets up to about 190, then we're gonna pour it into the French press. Then add your two tablespoons approximately of the coffee grounds and stir with a wooden spoon. Why use a wooden spoon? It's less likely to chip the glass than a metal spoon. Place the plunger on top of the coffee, but don't press it down. Just let it sit there with the lid on top for about two to three minutes. After about three minutes, then you're gonna slowly plunge down the coffee. I have a complete video on how to make coffee with a French press, so I'll leave a link for you on the screen. Then I'm gonna fill the glass just maybe a quarter of the way up with coffee. Then we'll add the pumpkin mixture about two thirds of the way up. I wanna leave room for the frothed milk. Now once your milk gets up to about, mine got up to 150, uh, then I would go ahead and pour it into a larger French press. And then we can use that to plunge and actually froth the milk. Now you'll notice that the milk increases in volume as it gets more air put into it. 
take the plunger out and then fill the rest of your glass with froth milk. Nice and creamy and delicious. Give a little dusting of cinnamon or nutmeg and you're good to go. That is delicious. Now if you want to make that pumpkin latte for, let's say, your kids in the morning, go ahead and mix it up like we did, just the milk and the spices and the pumpkin and the vanilla, and then pour it into your glass. You know, you can scrape it and get it all in there, and then just top it off with your milk froth. And for this demonstration, I'm going to show you using the milk frother. I really like this thing, and I think it actually does the best job. So you just pour the milk in there, plug it in, push the button, and voila, you wait for it to stop, and some good milk froth comes out. And look what you end up with. Beautiful froth. It's just perfect. Finish it off with a little sprinkle of cinnamon, and your kids will absolutely love this. And even you, for that matter. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. What do you call two coffee mugs sitting on a shelf together? A happy couple. <laughs> now here's a dessert you probably didn't know was on my channel. Nutella chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwiches. These are amazing. You really should give these a try. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment. Maybe you have a recipe request. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe. Cheers.